Hi, my scary cats. My name is Kate from Scary Cat Gaming, and we are in a game called Once Upon a Timeline. Now, this is a game about going through time, and your aunt was a very smart uh, scientist. So, let's get started, shall we? Click anywhere to play. Okay. Uh, ask to exit the machine. Exit time machine. Close journal. Pause. Uh, click to move and interact. Inventory items. Choose year with arrows. Oh, okay. Pull lever to time travel. Click to open journal. Click to enter time machine. Ask to exit. Alright, thank you. My Aunt Josie. Joyce Lynn and I lived in at opposite ends of the country. She was my last living relative and I kept in touch by writing to her as often as possible. Without fail, she'd write back. She was a brilliant scientist and her letters hinted at things I could hardly believe. All written in excited scribble I could barely understand. One day, she stopped writing back. Sorry, I just had to give it that kind of... Hello? Anybody home? Aunt Joycelyn? Oh no, this can't be. My aunt's journal. I should read this. It may hold some clues. Whoever it is out there, open the door right now before we break it down. I'm not opening that door. I might find somewhere. I must find someone to hide. Joycelyn's journal. 1946. I have to teach for the next six years to afford it, but I finally found the perfect home for myself and my work. 1953. Erika! An incredible breakthrough. A practical application cannot be more than a year away. It says that 1954. So... What about 1952? <laughs> Everything you said in your letters about time travel, you're, you're alive. What? Oh, hello, nephew. Where did you spring from? Aren't you a little old for hide and seek? What? Oh, I came in that machine from. Very good, child. You've been listening to your crazy old aunt's stories, and now you're deciding to pull my leg. Eh? It's very nice to see you, dear. But I told you how busy I was. I really have no time for this. But auntie, you were laying there on the floor. It was in this room. Somebody was trying to break the door down. Please stop. I am at a crucial stage in my work. I am far too busy for this nonsense. Give me another few years, my lad, and I promise you'll be able to live out your make-believe for real. She... she doesn't believe me. Well, of course not. Nephew's notes. My aunt's incredible machine allows travel through time. I found her dead in 1954 and alive again in 1953. However, she does not believe my story. Could I bring her an item from the future as proof? I'm afraid there will be no compromises. You there, step out of that thing. This is dangerous, I need to get out of here.
an investigation for like four years. from but you can go back there and leave us alone don't make me hurt you don't you touch our things get the hell out of our home <laughs> okay so what about here the carpet's gone. Table's gone. Nothing. Things are disappearing. So let's go to here. Let's see all the changes. what I say, but I come from the past. I've seen plenty of strange things in my years. Can't think of a better explanation for you appearing in that. You're not afraid of me. I'm not afraid of you. That thing looks old. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking in that voice now. My great-grandpa used to live in this house when I was still standing. Well, that was nearly a century ago now. He was driven mad by drink. But gee, I sure could use a drop. The vagrant mentioned that his great-grandfather, a drunk, lived in this very site nearly 100 years ago. Don't worry, dear. I fear the wine may be a little too strong. Ignore it, and I'm sure it'll go away. I guess I wouldn't believe it if I saw me either. A 
I can trade this with that strangely dressed man in the future. It was 2013 was the year I went, right? trade you that phone for this bottle of wine. Sure, I need a drink. I wonder what my aunt will make of this. These people are assholes. No, no, maybe they're not so bad in the beginning. Carefully. What? Oh, hello, nephew. Where did the British just spring from? Aren't you a little too old for hide and seek? I wasn't hiding, I was traveling here in that machine of yours. I present this device to you as proof. Apparently, this is a telephone from the future. I took it from a man living in the next millennium. This, this is incredible. My machine works. This proves everything I've been saying all along. Those fools, those idiots at the whole office. Your life is in danger. In 1954, somebody will kill you right here in this room. That's wonderful. A perfect test for my contraption, and you will be my guinea pig. My life is in your hands. You can change the timeline and rescue me. When did you say this all happened? 1954? You need to make a study of the crime scene. Now, you may need some cover. That machine is a lot larger than this device. You've brought me... When I took possession of the deeds to this house, I do recall seeing something regarding an alternate room layout. In truth, it's partly why I built the machine over in that corner. A little forward thinking, if you will. Now, what year was this house constructed in? Oh, my memory fails me. constructed in 1919, I think. 1954, the scene of the crime. I must return there and make a detailed study of events. My aunt mentioned that before this house was built, there were plans for a separate room. But when was this house built? Let's see how far back I can go. There was somebody there. Oh. It looks like something metallic. It's stuck fast. I need a shovel. Don't you 
come a step closer. I don't dare if you're a ghost or what you are. Another step and I'll blow you to pieces. I better not. I think he means it. But I need that shovel. There we go. Hmm, was that sorry? I was deep in thought. I'm laying out the plans for a house on this site. I can't make my mind up whether or not this should be one large room or two. One set of plans shows the house having two separate rooms. I'm going to destroy the original plans. Maybe I can t affect the future timeline this way. Just the one set of plans showing the house containing two rooms. I was thinking about an alternative design for the house I'm building, but I seem to have mislaid those plans away. Did you see that? I used the time machine to go back in time and adjust the plans for the house. What did it look like? Did that wall appear suddenly out of nowhere? That wall has always been there. Perhaps a side effect of time travel. Are you losing your marbles? Never mind. Kindly, do get on with saving my life. There's a good lad. Have you been back to the scene of the crime yet? Have you noticed anything in particular? discovered that my poor aunt was shot in the head. Can I unearth anything that might protect her? I don't know. A uh, helmet, maybe? It looks like he shot her more than once. Just saying. been back to the scene of the crime yet? Have you noticed anything in particular? Yes, just walk all over your dead aunt's body. <laughs> I 
I'm missing one right here. You think that if the man would go back, that you would know exactly what he looked like and you could get him. But I'm actually gonna end this here. Uh, so, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel if you like this video, hit that like button, and if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'll put in the description below. Until next time, my stream cats, oh, bye bye!